Hi, I'd like to ask you a question. Can you forgive? Now when I ask you, can you forgive? I don't mean, oh sure, it's okay. I mean, can you really forgive yourself or others? Stick around, let's find out. Live trance and prosper. Hi, I'm Reverend Dr. Brian David Phillips, and I want to discuss today a little thing called forgiveness. We all hear it, and we all know in our hearts that it might actually, maybe, could be, sort of, would be true, and that is, in order to move on with our lives after a difficult uh, episode, or difficult emotional trauma, or difficult whatever, we really need to forgive those who have wronged us and get on with our lives. And most importantly, we need to forgive ourselves for whatever guilt, shame, or other negative feelings we might have. But the question becomes, can we really forgive ourselves? And can we really forgive others? See, a lot of folks have issue with hanging on to that negative emotional construct. Hanging on to those negative emotions. Why? Well, because it's what we know. And also, there's culpability. Many of us just feel like we don't deserve to forgive ourselves or others. Sometimes people do really crappy things to other people. And they're unforgivable things. But here's the thing. When we ask for forgiveness and when we give forgiveness, it doesn't really mean we're excusing whatever happened. Okay, so if somebody hurt you, if someone harmed you, if someone committed a terrible deed or terrible emotional activity against you, forgiving them isn't really excusing them. It's a metaphor. It's a symbol for cutting the strings that tie you to the events and the person. It's cutting the negative energy. It's allowing yourself to move on. That forgiveness isn't excusing the behavior. That forgiveness is saying, I'm done with it. I'm walking away. I can lead my life. Because you see, that guilt, that shame, that anger, that fear, that sense of, I need justice in some way. And yes, even that sense for revenge that some people have. That's what's holding you back. That's what that negative energy is. That's eating away at your self-esteem, at your self-worth, at your self-value. And so forgiveness is really releasing. It's surrendering to the moment and no longer living in the past. It's moving forward with your life. Now here's an interesting conundrum. There's quite a few folks out there who actually find it easier to forgive others for incredibly horrible things than forgiving themselves for allowing it to happen or for terrible things maybe they've done to others. But that's once again, asking for forgiveness of yourself doesn't excuse the behavior. It signposts to your unconscious and your spirit and your soul and your very essence of your very being that you're ready to move forward, that you're cutting those negative strings that hold you to the past so that you can move forward in a blessed and bountiful way toward a positive future. That doesn't mean, as some people and in media, we we see this in movies where people talk about, say, for instance, Catholics. Catholics go to a priest, they confess their sin, they're given um, something to pay for it, you know, say, 15 Hail Marys and you're okay. The assumption being that uh, once you confess your sins, uh, God forgives you and you can move on with a spotless soul. And then they can go on and 
commit more sins. Uh, karma in life doesn't actually work that way, and no, neither does Catholic confession. You actually have to have an open spirit. You actually have to have a genuine, forgiving, open heart, one of contrition, one that recognizes this is what I have done, and I am making a genuine effort, a genuine effort, not to commit this wrong again. And then you can move forward. If all you're doing is, I'm just going to go through the motions, I'm going to fool the gods. That's not forgiveness you're after, that's hoodwinking. And the gods know this because the gods, they reside within you. Okay? Within your unconscious. What you're really trying to do here is to allow your unconscious to move forward so that you lead a better life and be a better person. So can we really forgive others? Sure. Can we really forgive ourselves? Absolutely. Is it just a simple matter of speaking magic words and we're okay? No. It requires emotional investment toward positive change. But that emotional investment that allows you to cut those strings that hold you back to you know where, the past, if you are genuinely and you've got your imagination intensely involved with it, it, it can happen. It can happen for you. And so, yeah, you can forgive yourself. You can forgive others. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, please subscribe to our video channel on YouTube so that you can get notices when we have new episodes come up. Be sure to check out our web pages. On Tuesdays we have news, we have rants, sometimes little mini sermons or special advisory things. On uh, Wednesdays, well that's pastoral questions. Ask me a question, make a comment. I'll be happy to comment back. Uh, and sometimes on the Wednesdays we do saving or trans work, but Thursdays are special. That's trans time where I guide you through an actual genuine trans experience. Once a month we have a long seminar or webinar. Uh, be sure to check our website. Don't forget, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You only have to subscribe once. Just leave it that way, okay? But for now, this is Dr. Brian David Phillips saying, Live trance and prosper. Bye-bye.